it's Dee with Desus Photography and I'm doing a quick tutorial and on how to achieve a matte look. Uh, very popular right now. <laughs> um, base, this is just a simple um, picture. I did a clean edit on it so I think it's been done. Um, uh, that's my phone. I'm trying to get all these clothes. Not too much. Alright. Um, the way I'm going to show you is a way this can be done in both Elements and Photoshop. Photoshop has some extra ways you can do it. I'll show that at the end, but the first ways I'm going to show can be done in both um, Photoshop and Elements. So you want to get create a new Levels layer. And with Levels, this top bar represents left sides, your shadows. Pull it in closer to center, it's going to make them deeper. Right to your highlights, pull them closer to the center, it's brighter. Center is your midtones. Go up or to the left to brighten it. Go to the right, you deepen your midtones. And the bottom is your output levels, which is where you affect your output of your shadows and your highlights. So when you pull it up here, it lightens up all those sh shadows. And when you pull the right side down, it um, dulls out your highlights. So if you have bone highlights, it's a you can kind of pull them back this way. It depends on how blown they are. The thing about matte is it basically creates sort of a dull look, a dull image, sort of like that film dullness. And, uh, that doesn't sound very exciting, but it's a, it's a very uh, neat technique. So the best thing to do is to pull your shadows up about 40. We'll pull the, that was the left part, the black, the blacks really is what it is, your blacks. Um, to the center, towards the center 40. My output, I'm going to make it at 50. If I can get it there. Uh, 51 is fine. Don't matter there. 50 is fine. You can tweak this as needed. So there's a really quick um, sort of going. You can tell it's getting more towards the mat. I pull my midtones down also. About 0.9. And then you want to doll out those highlights a little bit, 240, and I always pull this back just a bit. Alright, so that is before, and that is after, and that's just really quick matte. You can go more towards there, if you want it to be a deeper, darker matte, you can pull your, your midtones back up, and pull your highlights in more. There's another sort of different look on the mat take and the best thing is just to tweak your output and um, your blacks just tweak all these around till it achieves the matte style you want another way to do a quick matte look is to do a solid color fill white and then keep it at below 10 and that's more of a, a light matte and you can tell more in the shadows down here where it looks sort of more matte. Just it also brightens it up because I picked white. And you can even go and pick a tan color and make it a warmer. Okay. And that way it's sort of a warm matte. Another way. Like I said, there are multiple, in Photoshop the great thing is there are multiple ways to do any step, any step you want to achieve. So what you want to do is go to uh, create new gradient map layer, adjustment layer. Mine was pink to white over there a second, but I'm going to click the black and white, so it's from black to white. We're going to go up here and set this to exclusion, your blend mode. Looks really funky. Pull it down to around 10, and that's where it's you can see it's pulled the highlights in. So you can even duplicate this, click on reverse, and it's pulling your shadows up. And then you can adjust this as you want. And if you want it to be a little bit uh, darker, you can get a levels, go up here and pull your blacks down. Or if you want more contrast, you can create a contrast layer, go up there. And that's another way to um, achieve a little bit of a matte look to it. 
and if those are basic ways you can do it in um, Elements and in Photoshop, if you have full Photoshop you can also use curves and this far left point is your black, so you want to pull it up. See how it's, it's sort of like um, how the output layer affects. You can see the output number changes down there. So you pull it up, and then you grab a point and pull your blacks down. And you want to pull your midtones back up. And then you go all the way to the right where your highlights are. And you'll pull them down to mute them just a bit. So there's a quick matte look too, and you can adjust if it's too strong, your opacity of your entire layer, or you can go in here and tweak your layer. And you want to just play around with how where you're putting your points at, so you can have different looks on how what kind of matte look you're going for. And another look. Maybe. Sorry, my phone rang. Um, <laughs> the another way, the final way I'm going to show you to do it, and this is in Photoshop only, is to create a new exposure adjustment layer. Let's try here. And what you want to do is um, play with your offset and your gamma correction. So you want to pull offset up and pull your gamma correction up too. And then you can even play with your exposure if it's too bright. And that's another way to do a matte look. Like I said, you can make it very, I like to make it very strong. And then I go and adjust my opacity down to, just to get the look I want. And you can go and add a little contrast in there. And if you change that around, there you go. So that's just another step to do um, that matte look. And, I mean, the best thing to do is to experiment, try them all out, and figure out which one works best for you and gets the look that you are desiring. Hope you all enjoyed it. <laughs>